Hey everyone, it's Char from Char's Fascination. I know I haven't done a cooking video in a while, but this is breakfast. So I'd like to show you what I'm doing with this ham slices. I get this from Aldi. Some eggs, because that's important. And one day Rob picked up the Sargento pepper jack cheese. This is a breakfast now. I have those small foil pans, so I line them kind of like a flour. Um, so there's two of these lined like that. There are seven slices of ham in bulk. These are going to go in the air fryer. Don't mind how I look. It's Saturday. I was up late sewing a shirt. Um, so... I need to eat, he needs to eat, and the cat will always take a bite of something. So anyway, we'll bring you over here to the air fryer. The air fryer's the air fryer, so hold on. So a better view of these, right here. Just going to take this and put these in the air fryer. Yeah, I know, I need to clean up. But that just shows that the air fryer is actually used. So, I actually like to set this on air fry. Now, we're not going to leave that in for the whole 18 minutes. We're going to leave that in there for two minutes and then be back. Now that these are out of the air fryer, only two minutes to start it, and you'll see why in a minute. So, okay, like I said, here we have these, and I have some eggs over here. Um, but before I put the eggs in, this is a balsamic glaze. Just a little swirl of that in there. Why? Because balsamic glaze, balsamic vinegar in general, is good for stimulating your immune system. And then we are going to go in with some cayenne. Just a little sprinkle of that in there. You might think that was a lot, actually. It was not in either one of these. So the next step to this is layer that cheese in there, just a slice each. Don't need a whole lot. And with the way a lot of cheeses are made this these days or on the shelf these days, I suggest, and it's just a suggestion, is make sure that in your cooking schedule that you use up that food because there's the reason why I keep gloves on when I'm cooking most of the time because I don't feel like getting this stuff on my hand nor do nor do I uh, want it all over the place on me so crack one egg that one accidentally broke the yolk the yolk is no joke the yolk broke anyway these are supposed to be large eggs to me this looks more like a medium so we are going to crack two eggs each well that one didn't want to crack I'll probably take the one with the broken yolk. Unless you want that one. One yolk broke. And the yolks in these are small too, so. The yolks on it. Yeah, the yolks on us when we buy stuff, right? So since yolk actually got on there, you can see that. Um, that's why I have the trash can over there. Sprinkle you just a little bit more 
tie in on the top. Put yourself some turmeric if you have it because turmeric will not hurt you. Anyway, I'm going to put these in here. But before I do that, use a rack like this when you go to put them in this way, okay? The first two minutes, no problem. When you're getting ready to do this part, make sure that you put it either on one of these or if you have a small sheet pan, however you plan on doing yours. So we'll take these over. Try not to. Yeah, let's not even say it. I'll put these in carefully. Nothing spilled. Trust me, I have scrubbed the bottom piece of that, so that's something I don't want to hear. Okay, we go for 18. Now, this is the point where we go for 18 minutes. Okay, and after the 18, and I will periodically check on it. And then we'll be back. Okay, we are back over here. Hold on, I've got to put this in a It's been, been a little bit. Let me check on these. They're not fully done yet. You see that little bit of egg white? Not cooked, so that can go back in. Okay, so we're down to four minutes. It was on nine. I gave this five more minutes. Do the math. And uh, guess what? There's some breakfast. Yummy, yummy. Look how fluffy that egg is. Look how, look that. I'm going to just come over here, shut that, and hit the button. But I want to show you all how, how just wonderful it is to be able to, let me, let me flip the camera around. How nice it is. I'm trying not to bump this. I have you sitting on my kettle. How wonderful it is to be able to make something like this. I'm going to sit it on a paper plate because that's my gig. Try to get this out of here without burning myself. Adjacent to that, we're trying here. Really are. Ah, there we go. Now this this is beautiful. I might just go ahead and use this as like my photo. Um, so you know how the YouTube algorithm is, or um, not just YouTube, but Rumble. Um, TikTok, their algorithms have been like super weird lately. I don't know, the internet's weird. So, let me get this turned around again and we will come back with this. Hold on. Facing this way, like, oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? That? That's pretty. Maybe that should be the thumbnail. <laughs> It's just this. There we go. Hopefully that took, cause you know. But that's a that's nice too. So anyway, and of course you know if you're gonna have breakfast, you need Death Wish coffee. That's the Death Wish coffee espresso. We drink that every morning. Food and life is better with Death Wish coffee. Because once you've had Death Wish, no other coffee will do. So anyway, we have Rob over here tasting it. How is it? Good. So I'm going to try mine in a minute. My shoes off. Y'all know I don't like having shoes on. So anyway, I know my face is still broke out. Stress, y'all stress so 
Ooh, that did that cook real nice. The steam on this. Oh, the steam. The steam. I don't know. Oh, there you go. That's a good steam shot. <laughs> but anyway, I trust Rob and what he says. Rob will eat just about anything. Unless it's poison. <laughs> I've done that too. Hmm. He has. And he survived. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. This is, this is delicious. Some of that egg yolk. Mmm. That is so good. Anyway, if you ever make any of the food that I've made, mmm, that cheese. That cheese in there is like, that's fabulous. So, at first I wasn't going to put cheese. Next time, what I might do is put some stone ground mustard underneath the egg on top of the cheese because that'll not only go good with the egg but that will go good with the ham mm, sorry <laughs> sorry not sorry um anyway stay happy stay healthy stay positive and as always stay blessed um I hope that you would try some of my gluten-free meals. Um, it's really helping me out a lot, except for today we got the case of the puppiness. That happens every once in a while. So, remember to stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. I'm going to eat the rest of this, and I'll see you in the next one. Because I've been pre-recording a lot of videos <laughs> and scheduling. See you later.